Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, I want to show you some backtesting optimization results of the Ninja Turtle Scalper program. Here, you can see all of the tests are done with 100% historical dig data from the Ducas Copy data feed. Um, this is the test that I will show you in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at um, the optimizations. So I am using the Ninja Turtle Scalper Expert Advisor. I will not explain the strategy in detail. It is a breakout strategy based on the Donkey and Channel Expert Advisor. I have other videos where I explain the strategy in detail. So let's now have a look at the results. So here we can see this is the optimization run that I made. I um, I chose different optimization parameters and we can see here, um, wait, if I show you the optimization again, we can see here, I optimized especially the SL percent, the TSL trigger percent, um, the TSL percent, and also the, um, the trigger and the donkey and channel period. I always focused on the four hour time frame because this was good in previous optimizations for other symbols and I use a risk of 2500 per trade here. But also I am simulating on a rather big account so here every trade makes a risk of 5%. If we have a look at the optimization results, we can see that we do see a lot of trades with um, very high profit factors. This is of course something we have to be a bit careful with because this equity looks very, very good. But in the reality, it might be not as good because um, some of these settings here um, use a very small or close trading stop loss. For example, here we can see 0 0.1 um, or 0 0.2 often as TSA percent. And this means of course that there is a risk that uh, we will get a lot of slippage on, on many of these trades. Also, we do see that um, out of all of these tests, a lot of the tests were actually profitable. It's around 50-50, 50% uh, profitable, 50% were unprofitable, I would say. And um, yeah, some of the tests, especially I think with the lower donkey and channel periods did not perform as good and especially the distant uh, or very big stop loss inputs were not as good. But if we go to the winning test, we can see if we use a Donkey channel period of around 20 or higher, um, this seems to be quite good for this specific strategy in the US tech, which is the market that I tested here. Also, we can see that if we go for the recovery factor, we can find some of the tests with a very high recovery factor. For example, here even 6.48. Also, what I like about this test is here that we do not use a TSL percent of 0.1, which I try to... Yeah, I don't really feel super comfortable with 0.1 because then you really have a huge impact of the slippage, I feel. So what I, I would like to use more is 0.2 or even 0.3, but this is personal preference. The trigger M1 seems to be beneficial for the strategy. And if I, for example, show you now again how this looks, if I double click this, you can see it will use the settings here and do a normal test with it. So let's go through the settings quickly. We use a 2,500 risk for every trade. We have a TP of 1.5%, a stop loss of, wait, 1.5%? Oh, it is a big stop loss. This is a little bit surprising to me because we also saw that very often the bigger stop losses did not work as well as the smaller values. But yeah, I think it's not... Like the stop loss is not hit that often anyways because we have this super aggressive trading stop loss. So after 0.2 points in profit, we go um, with a stop loss distance of 0.2% after the trade. And then we do have a um, trigger, which is the one minute candles. We have a Donkin channel of four hours and a Donkin channel period of 20. And yeah, this will create the graph that we will see here in a second. So the test here is um, about to end now. We can see um, historically it looks um, quite fine. This is of course no guarantee that we'll be anywhere near this in the future. Uh, I talked about the slippage problem a bit. 
Um, but this test is really looking like really, really good. And if you don't choose like too aggressive settings, it might work out. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, quite a solid backtesting result. And if we have a look at the uh, backtest here, uh, we can see also the, the numbers are very, very good. Like there's a high profit factor um, and yeah, made quite a lot of money. Uh, there's a total of 660 trades, which is not too much actually because it's traded on the uh, four hour time frame. Therefore, there are not too many uh, trades. And yeah, the, the hit rate, of course, is, is very high. It's um, on average above, uh, above 80%, which is a little bit surprising to me is that the short trades hit rate is higher than the long trades hit rate, which is a little bit untypical for a strategy that trades a, a stock market index. But yeah, it is how it is. It is how it turned out. And yeah, the profit factor is so high. Oh, sorry, the win rate is so high, of course, because we have this um, a very small, like, or the, the, the TP. I mean, TP and SL are the same distance, of course, but the TSL trigger is so small compared to the stop loss. And therefore, of course, we do see a very high, a very high uh, hit rate because the trading stop loss will be triggered in, in most of the trades, of course. Um, also, you can pause the video, of course, if you need more time to read the, the key figures. And if we have a look at this here, we can see that uh, most, of the, most of the profits are, of course, in the afternoon hours when the U.S. market is off, open, so in the, in the U.S. session, which makes sense because then there's most volatility for the uh, U.S. index. There's no um, significant um, difference in the, in the weekdays and the profits uh, in the weekdays, I would say. And also the months are, I mean, we have two losing months on average, but I would not uh, say that this is, um, I don't think there are reasons for this, or at least not um, significant reasons. So you should use a month, month filter, for example. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, this is one test example, tested on my data, which is the Dukas copy data. And yeah, please, please feel free to test uh, the program yourself in the symbols you want to trade and with the settings you want to trade. Um, just want to get this out here as a inspiration um, for maybe strategies or test runs that you want to do. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.